Report? It's confirmed. At least according to the encryption codes we have. What do the long-range sensors say? All we can tell is there's a massive amount of neutron radiation coming from that area, consistent with a large-scale explosion, possibly a reactor breach. What do we know about the deployment of their fleet? How fast can they expect a response? It's impossible to know. Number one, what do you think? I think, even if it isn't a trap, it's too dangerous and against regulations. Has there been any response to the distress call? No, Captain. History is made by those who dare to take risks. Set a course for the source of the distress call. Warp 8. Courses are applauded. You know, I failed this one at the Academy. <laughs> we all did. Engage. Officer's log, star date 7114.5. I question the wisdom of crossing the neutral zone to respond to a distress call from a Romulan outpost. Are we detecting any other ships? Negative. Full scan. The reaction chamber has decompressed and is venting plasma energy, but there are bulkheads in place. I'm detecting 21 Romulans in the other chambers. Whatever they're using is generating a lot more power than our outpost. Mr. Zoza? It's hard to tell with the reactor, but I think they were trying to channel the power into a sensor platform. Whatever happened, it's getting worse. Sir, that reactor's about to go critical. Transporter room, beam the Romulans aboard immediately. That was way too close. Nice job getting the shields up. Transporter room, did you get them? We got 17 before the shields went up. Good work, bridge out. Romulan, bird of prey, bearing one, 11 mark 14. Evasive maneuvers. Get us out of here. Your soul dampeners are offline. Engineering, we need warp speed. Stand by, I'm rerouting power. Archer! Try it now. Course 151 mark 330, engage. They're pursuing us, but they won't catch us before we reach our destination. Captain, if they think we destroyed that outpost... Then they won't hesitate to pursue us in the Federation space. I know. We've entered the Pulsan Nebula. Analysis? Dilithium hydroxyls, magnesium, and chromium. Their cloak will be useless. So will our sensors. Engineering, can you confirm? And theirs. I'm Captain Allenby. 
You are aboard the Federation starship Excalibur. Procyon, I'm very grateful for the rescue, Captain. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Some of your compatriots would have rather died. Yes, the military. I am a scientist, Captain. I have a family. A wife. I'm a man of peace and discovery. My team and I were conscripted by the Tal Shiar to perform experiments on an unstable and dangerous power source. We would have all died on that outpost had you not rescued us. Truly, we are grateful. Our lives are in your hands. What were you trying to power on that outpost? Our sensors indicate it might have been a new type of sensor array. I'm a scientist, Captain, not a traitor. I tell you, and I never see my family again. Well, there's bad news and bad news. The weapons are out. What's your estimated repair time? Three weeks in a space dock. The entire command and control interface is burnt to a crisp. Do what you can for the shields. The shuttles we have scouting the nebula report the Romulans have placed sensor buoys on the outside of the cloud. We try to leave and they'll detect us. This nebula is in Federation space. They can't stay here forever. They can, as long as they're inside with us. We try to call for help and they'll zero in on our signal. Cynthia. Would you be able to fit a stationary beacon with a broadband subspace transmitter? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. A distress call would be too obvious. We need something a lot more subtle. Cochrane distortion. That would be too subtle. We could deploy the photon torpedoes like mines. And we can fit the beacon with a proximity alarm that would trigger the detonators. Nine hours since we started sending out that signal. I just don't think it's going to work. It's not powerful enough. Didi, you've been questioning the captain this whole time. Why? It's my job to question her, Nigel. I'm the only person on the ship who can. We should have ignored that distress call. Those Romulans think we destroyed that outpost. And if they reported that, we may have just started a war. She was just trying to do the right thing. Rescuing that outpost could have also led to peace. It's against standing orders for a reason. Romulans view pursuing peace as weakness. Now, millions on both sides could die. Report. Sensors and shields are as repaired as they're going to get for now. Any sign that the Romulans have taken the bait? No, Captain. Move in closer. Let's see what kind of readings we can get in this mess. They're completely disabled, Captain. Put them in a tractor beam. Aye, sir. Energize.
The first explosion relieved the pressure for a time, but it was inevitable that the reactor would go critical. We tried to warn everyone, but no one would listen. Or you manufactured that data as an excuse for your treasonous refusal to die as a Romulan. It's a single-use optolithic data rod. Examine it for yourself if you wish to verify its authenticity. You speak of patriotism, Commander. Where is patriotism in a state that condemns its scientists and engineers to a pointless death for a power source that doesn't work? Commander Tamar, Whatever Procyon has shown you, I have not seen. He has not betrayed Romulan secrets. We've always found that your overtures of peace are an indication of fear. You know you cannot defeat us, or that's what we tell ourselves. But I have to admit, it took courage to make that overture, Captain. If you're so certain that you would win, then why are you my prisoner right now? <laughs> Very good. Whatever the reality of the situation is, whoever would win, the truth is that both sides would be decimated, and the balance of power in the Beta Quadrant would certainly shift to the Klingons. Do you really think they wouldn't take advantage of that? You're an impressive negotiator, Captain Allenby. I've underestimated you, and I cannot let the Empire make the same mistake. I have friends in the Senate. If I can get this information to them, perhaps we can convince them to call off this war before it's too late. Take us out of the nebula, number one. Set a course back to the Romulan outpost, best possible speed. Captain, our weapon systems are gone. It doesn't matter. We either stop the war now, or we die trying. I'm picking up an automatic all-points bulletin from Starfleet Command. Code 1. Commander Mason, take us to warp. Sir, sensors are detecting a fleet of Romulan ships near the outpost. It looks like a rendezvous in progress. They're gathering their forces at the site where they believe the first attack happened. Pearl Harbor. Drop to impulse. They've definitely seen us. We're still outside of their weapons range, but half of them have target locks on us. Commander Tamar is signaling them to stand down. They're holding position, but they've all powered weapons. Take us in closer. Michaela, our shields are down while the tractor beam is engaged. Commander, take us in closer. Military fleet, this is Supervisor Procyon. I'm transmitting my coded ID. We are alive. The Federation did not attack our outpost. Please, stand down. Closer. Move in slowly. I repeat, stand down. Captain, 
They're powering down their weapons. Release the tractor beam. She faced an army with the sword she pulled from a stone. And in that moment, hiding her fear, standing for peace, she brought to pass the death of war. I don't remember reading that passage in Mists of Avalon. That's because I made it up. <laughs> Take us home, number one. Aye, Captain. all a lot to think about. You were a hero today. Hero? Yeah. I took us to the brink of war and almost became the first Starfleet captain to be court-martialed by her own father. You know, you're an engineer. I'm a scientist. And yet they put us in charge of these ships. There's so much more than a scientist. A tactician. A diplomat. No matter how you started, you deserve to command that ship. And your father is proud of you. I know. He told me. I'm not James Kirk. I'm not my father. And I almost got my entire crew killed. Eric, I was scared out of my mind. And I just kept asking myself what he would do. And then I realized... He was always scared too. But he put it out of his mind. By being a rock for his crew. From where I sit, you don't have to be fearless. You don't have to be James Kirk to be a hero. I think future captains will remember Michaela Allenby is the captain that stood for Starfleet principles, even in the darkest of moments. Even when she was scared out of her mind. But that counts for something. Thank you, Eric. Come in. <clears throat> Commander? Permission to speak freely? What's on your mind, Dee Dee? You know, I've been in Starfleet a little longer than you have. And I just, I always thought the reason you were given command of the ship instead of me was because of, well, nepotism. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're probably right. But I recently had the chance to look into the cosmic data stream. And what I can tell you is that you are a pretty amazing person all across the multiverse. I met another version of myself too, and I coveted her life. But being the captain of this ship just seems to be the fate the universe has laid out for me. <laughs> well, fate notwithstanding, sir, you are an amazing captain. Thank you, number one. Did you have something else? We received a transmission from Outpost 23. The Romulans were using an experimental sensor array to scan the Foranax cluster for several hours prior to the explosion. Which means they know about our base there. The whole point of putting a base in the middle of the Fornax cluster is so that they wouldn't detect it. Well, they know about it now. The scans we did on their halls indicate they were within the vicinity of the cluster recently. They're planning an invasion. Nigel thinks the Lunar Federation space through the Tomet sector. 
which means they'll be able to sneak up on our base in the Fornax cluster undetected. Maybe what we did today will make them reconsider their plans. If only for a time. And if they don't, we know. And we'll be ready for them. <laughs>